Hello and welcome. Let's talk about SARS or Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. So, what does it mean by SIRS? It may be defined as systemic manifestation of sepsis resulting in progressive illness, organ dysfunction, and ultimately death if not intervened early. Etiological factors include trauma like due to surgery, or in case of extensive burn, infection or sepsis, pancreatitis, transfusion reaction, or malignancy. Stages There may be stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3. In stage 1, there is production of cytokines in normal environment. In stage 2, there are the small amounts of cytokines are released into the circulation. And in stage 3, the systemic circulation uh, is flooded with uh, cytokines and other chemical medications. Now, pathogenesis It is associated with release of the free radicals, abnormal arachidonic acid release, cytokine release, neutrophil sequestration, abnormal nitrous oxide synthesis, and complement activation which leads to failure of inflammatory localization with vasodilatation, increased endothelial permeability with damage, thrombosis, leukocyte migration and activation, and as a result of hypotension, that there is decreased organ function which leading to organ failure. Now, diagnostic criteria. It is characterized by two of the following, which includes hyperthermia more than 38 degrees centigrade or hypothermia lesser than 36 degrees centigrade, tachycardia with heart rate more than 90 beats per minute, with no beta blockers or tachypnea with respiratory rate more than 20 beats per minute and WC count more than 12 into 10 to the power there is something missing here you can note it from your textbook now end of the topic